Hello and welcome everybody to the Super Bowl of Airsoft. I'm your host Noble Lee and we're going to be taking you guys through my first person account of this game. Make sure to stick to the end because it sure is a good one. So today we are starting on red side and we must get the ball over to blue side. The ball has been placed on the 50 yard line also known as B flag. We need to get that ball to the enemy side as soon as possible before they can get it to our side. We make quick work of the blue team, and now the flag is free for us to go take the ball. So as soon as I grab the ball, I need to make a quick sweep over to the left side to see if I can get it all the way to the enemy side before they can pick up on our plan. So part of the way down the trail, I end up feeling some enemy resistance. I try to go scope it out and quickly find that there is people out there. So now that I know there's enemies near their side, I have to fall back, but I leave the briefcase up near their spawns to see if we can't go back and get it later. Because as of right now, they have no idea where it is. The enemies are rapidly pushing up on our location, so me and my teammate both have to fall back to avoid getting shot. Now me and my teammate are going to try to push back up and see if we can't uh, get a couple of those guys that were pushing up on our location. So I'm, tr I'm slowly trying to push up the left side because there's so much uh, brush on my right side that it would be very hard for them to see me moving through this location. So I try to sneak my way up and see if I can get a flank on any of the enemy teammates. Luckily I end up getting one, uh, but there's still too many to try to make a run to the end zone, so I have to fall back again. I'm still able to pick off a bunch of the enemy players, but there's so many because they picked up on our plan that it's almost impossible to try to even think about making a push into the end zone. My teammate had more of a long range gun, so I decided to switch spots with him so maybe he can pick off a couple more targets than I could. So now that the briefcase is still on the left side, I'm going to try to push right to try to make a distraction so that way uh, some of my teammates can kind of push up and get that ball into the end zone. Come here, and I'll tell you. 
So right now I'm still not all the way over to the right side. I'm about right in the middle of the field, still not far enough right to create a good distraction. But my teammate calls me back over left so I can explain to him what the situation is. Because most of the team has no idea where the briefcase except me and that other teammate that was with me in the beginning of the game. So a couple enemies were able to sneak behind us in the house. Luckily I have one of the more powerful guns on the field, so I can pretty much outrange anybody on this field. So I had actually gotten that guy from earlier, but I didn't really know it, so I shot him a couple more times. Uh, that was my mistake there, I probably shouldn't have. but. Uh, he wasn't raising his hand, so it was all fair game for me. So I'm trying to explain to my teammate here that the bomb is extremely close to the end zone over here on the left side. He wants to take it and sweep it over to the right side, but I explained to him that it's pretty much impossible because it's so close to their side on the left. Little did I know, which I find out later in this game, but they had actually switched their spawn from the right side of the field to the left side of the field. If I had known this earlier, I would have swept the ball over to the right side. However, their spawn is actually on the left. So now, this bomb or ball or whatever you want to call it is an extremely bad location because it's pretty much sitting right next to their spawn. So now that <clears throat> I'm free, I tried to go carry out that plan earlier about flanking over to the right side so I can make a distraction for some of my teammates. So one of my teammates had actually gotten shot from somewhere. But at this point, I had no idea where he'd gotten shot from. But uh, I find out here in a little bit, there's actually a lot of enemy players over here that keep coming this way. They get kind of mad when I keep getting them over and over when they keep coming this way. It's kind of hard to see through all the trees and brush and stuff, but... Uh, there's tons of enemy players around that I had to, I was barely able to see them through the brush, but I ended up picking off a lot of people through the trees. So at this point right here where I am on the field, uh, for the most part this would be considered spawn camping, however, uh, I this is football and the football is at about the 10 yard line if we were to uh, like describe where it was on a football field sort of deal uh, the football is extremely close so I need to get up as close as possible to cut them off so they can't go and retrieve that football sadly though I end up getting hit at the end of my run there on the flank so I end up having to go back and respawn. But now that I've respawned, I'm back in kind of the yeah. mid left of the field, and uh, we're in a big stalemate here, and no one's really sure what to do, and half of our team doesn't even know where the football is. And at this point, pretty much none of their players know where it is.
So at this point, uh, my teammate gave me a little bit of info that uh, they have saw the enemy team with the ball. And uh, my idea, since we're all over here on the left side, they're probably going to sweep over to the right side. So I make a dash to the right side to see if I can cut off their run to our end zone. So I find one enemy player hiding behind a barricade. Again, it's really hard to see because of the way the light is shining and all the trees. But uh, okay. I did edit this a day after all of the uh, stuff that went on, so I know pretty well what happened. Again, another guy is hiding in the trees. I, it was a very, very close battle, probably about five feet out of the zone of a safety kill. But uh, we, I managed to pick them off, and right there they shot my camera. It's, it makes a clear sound whenever my camera gets shot. You can hear that ping. So that was not me getting hit. That was my camera. So there's a bunch of enemy players off to the left side now. Um, which I actually see some of them with a briefcase. So, I know now that they have the ball in the middle of the field, but they can't possibly push mid. So, at this point, we're all just kind of questioning where they're going to go with the ball. Tyler! I call out to my teammate, and there is no response, which kind of has me worried that he may have gotten shot. There's still a lot of people trying to push the right side, which I'm able to hold down pretty good with my location. Right I've located side. two on the right side, but there's still three more on the enemy team, which the three more have the briefcase. So, like I said, at this point, we have absolutely no idea where the briefcase is or what they're planning to do with it. So I ended up suppressing one guy, he ran off, and I used that suppression technique to go up behind him and get him when he least expected it. So we're picking up quite a bit of kills here on this right side. But we still have no idea where the football is, which is the primary uh, thing of this game. We need that ball, but again, we have no idea where it is, and none of the teammates are giving any info. So at this point, it's just a shot in the dark where that ball might be and where they're going to try to run it. So I have a pretty good feeling I have this right side locked down. So I tell my teammate to go over to the left side and see if he can find the briefcase because we really need to get that ball back at this point. But seeing as I killed so many people on the right side, I feel like they're probably going to quit going to the right side. So I end up trying to go back to mid, and I do pick up one guy. And you can't really see it on the video, but uh, he was extremely salty when I shot him that time because he tried to go to the right so many times, and then he tried to go mid, and I just got him again. So he had a bit of a fit, which was kind of funny. Sadly, you couldn't see it in the video. I see two enemies in the distance, so I need to go and try to get them as fast as possible. And as you can see, one of them did have the briefcase, and I managed to spray both of them down. Our teammate had just respawned. He picks up the briefcase. I yell out to go to the left side, but actually whispered him to go to the right side. So now the entire enemy team thinks we're going left, but in reality, we're actually making a run to the right side of the field. So 
So I let my teammate know that now we do have the ball and we are pushing the right side so he can go help us cut the enemy team off at their spawn so we can run the briefcase into the end zone. Again, a camera hit. You can hear the distinct ping off the camera. Right side down! I actually did manage to spray that guy down. If he had aimed a little bit lower, it would have hit me right between the eyes. So I see no enemy resistance whatsoever on the right side, which makes me think our plan has worked, but little did I know there's a bunch of enemies coming our way. So I see our briefcase running up the right side, there's a bunch of enemies to our left, I run up to this bunker here, and I try to give as much suppressive fire as I can here in a second. So now they're all coming from their spawn. I tell our teammate to run into the end zone. I go to push up as a literally a literal meat shield, and our teammate actually ends up getting it in the end zone. A great game of football. Red team won, and that was it for the Super Bowl of Airsoft. So if you guys really enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like. And definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe for more Cedar Creek Airsoft content. That's going to be it for me today, guys. I was your host, Noble E, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.